Well, we're on a new farm today. It's a windy, uh, very beautiful day though. A little bit cool, but that's nice. Enjoying the English people as usual. Uh, they're really, really very friendly. And we've had a great time in the few days we've been here so far. First uh, up this morning, you know, I've dug a, a few little flat buttons, but uh, starting off showing a little uh, pistol ball, musket ball. Where you find these, good chance there's going to be some hammers too. So uh, hopefully we'll be turning some up today. Yeah, next up is a little clog clasp. Nothing uh, fancy. But again, another good indicator. It may have a little bit of a design on it. Well, still nothing great has come up. Uh, digging, still digging buttons and uh, some greenies. And uh, this little watch winder just came up. There's targets in the field. Just need to walk over something good. Well, I'm thinking this is another little uh, watch key design both sides looks like probably part of it's broken off down here well i dug this and first thought i had me a nice big hammer nice and thin no detail on this at all though so it's some sort of milk coin i guess it's just worn very very thin Okay, this looks quite interesting. I've never seen a seal matrix that was square, but that's certainly what this looks like. Very, very interesting. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but uh, it is a hammered coin. Most of one anyway, hammered silver. Should be enough on there to identify the monarch, but I'm not able to based on what I've got. But I'll take it for sure. Always love digging hammers. It's really tough to get a live dig here in England. You dig so many targets. Uh, pieces of lead, pieces of bronze, brass, greenies, buttons. So I dug out a shovel full here, getting very high numbers. And it looks like to me I can see a, a nice hammered coin there. Uh, just a second and I want to take a few still shots of it like that and then I'll be back. Okay, let's see what we've got here. It is uh, definitely a, a nice hammer. Gonna have to clean it off and we'll take a better look at it. Okay, it looks like a nice big Elizabeth uh, sixpence and like so many of her coins, uh, her face has been scratched off. Gives you uh, on the face side basically just a, a flat surface where her portrait used to be. Very nice, I'll take that any day. gave me a great signal. Just a big old bronze nail. A big piece of bronze. And it looks like another hammer coin there. I can't tell whether this is silver or bronze. Let me let me clean it off, see what I can tell about it. Yeah, it's a hammered copper coin of some sort. I can't see enough detail to tell. It looks a little thicker than most of the jettons I'm used to digging, so it may or may not be a jet. And another little bit 
of silver comes up. This one's a milled coin though. Let me clean it off, see what it is. It's been hold, it's a uh, Victoria. Uh, sixpence. Looks like the date is uh, 1889. This is lead, but it appears to be some sort of seal or token. It's got markings on it. Not sure though what it is. Well, again, this appears to be a little hammered copper coin. Don't know what it is, it's too dirty. But I'm sure that's what it is this time. Let me see if I can clean off and tell something about it. I'm going to stick with Jet. Now, if it's not what it is, then I'll caption what it really is on the bottom of the screen. This little guy right here looks like it may be a rose quality. It's got an oblong shape to it. Definitely got something on both sides. It's not a button. Wind's blowing real hard. Uh, let me clean it off, see if I can tell anything about it. Yeah, it's uh, definitely a little rose farthing. Looks like it's got pretty good detail on it. And uh, I see it on top of the ground. Gave me a great signal, but uh, didn't even have to dig for it. A little key. The key's got a little age on it. How old, I don't know, but a uh, neat little key. And this looks like ooh, a little bag seal. Can't make out what's on it, but there is some lettering on it. That's not very pretty, but I think this might have used to have been a ring. It does have designs around it. But it's brass. Well, you just never know what's going to come out of the ground when you get a signal here. This little thing is actually a hammered coin. Silver. Looks like a long cross. Let me try to clean a little bit, see if I can tell who it is. Probably can't, but at least we'll be able to see the coin a little bit better. Okay, it's got great detail on it. I'm going to say it's one of the Edwards, but uh, which one I don't know, and really I can't definitely say that it is. Backside, uh, long cross. Very small coin but I love them. Okay, this looks like some sort of a strap end. I don't know for sure. It does look like it's got some age on it. Well, this is a very interesting item. Actually, looks like an old English letter. I don't know what it is, though. Some sort of mount, perhaps? I don't know. Interesting. A uh, small cut piece of hammer. It's still a hammer. This is uh, a little quarter cut. Don't know if there's going to be enough on there to tell who the uh, the monarch is or not. Come on now. Come on. There we go. Gave a good, clear signal. Down probably inch and a half to two inches. I'll take it. Well, this looks like a nice little strap in, probably medieval, solid. No ornamentation on it that I can see. Neat find.
This appears to be some sort of little mount attachment hooks on the back. I have no idea of the age of this thing. Okay, this isn't a pretty hammer, but it is a complete hammer. It's got a split in it. Don't know who the king is. I'm going to have to take a closer look at this. See if I can tell. Well, I've cleaned it off as much as I can in the field, and I really can't tell. It is, it's worn, it's split. Don't know. And it looks like I've got another jetting. Second one of today, or is it third? I'm not real sure. I think it's the second. <laughs>